guys welcome back to my channel hi if you're me for the first time hello i'm ib ib very b and i am a student i am a nigerian who is currently schooling and living here in the uk yeah so hi if you're if you if it's your first time here please don't make it your last i beg just keep returning and don't forget to subscribe and also like this video as i'm speaking to you now see you guys click on the like button i beg yes yeah, so it's obviously a new vlog which i think i'm excited about because i don't even know i'm excited but it's a good thing i'm starting a vlog because i've been procrastinating and procrastinating and procrastinating but we are here now yes yeah, so quick one when i said i helped um in my previous vlog i mentioned that i helped amaka got <clears throat> excuse me i mentioned that i helped amaka got um an accommodation in my school apartment in my school accommodation um and some of you reached out to me about six persons reached out to me but i said i'll get back to you guys you guys i have not gotten back to you guys i'm getting back to you guys here because i don't know i can't just be going individually and be sending the same message but yeah my accommodation is sold out actually it's been sold out for some time even before september so it's sold out and yeah there's no more space in my accommodation and i understand the whole accommodation thing it's terrible and it's not even it's everywhere it's happening everywhere in the uk there are no accommodation and, they, and we have more students who are coming so what i would say is if you're coming if you're a single person self it's okay for you to like be running around and looking for accommodation but if you have dependents like if you have kids especially toddlers just i think they should just stay back maybe with your wife or your husband and you just come alone and just get an accommodation and then they can now come over because you really don't want to be spending money on airbnbs or hotels that money you should, that money you spend in an airbnb for a week or two weeks you can use it for your house rent for two months or even three months do you get what i mean so that's what that's what i'll say to you guys so just i know it's crazy hopefully you find something and something that you like hopefully yeah so i just wanted to put that out there and then um, yeah i'm actually going now so i'm going to visit a friend i don't know if i'll vlog or not but whatever you guys see sha yeah i'll speak to you guys later <laughs> To the kitchen because i want to cook so one thing the uk will make you be is you become a chef hey <laughs> god you become a chef and if you're like me that don't like trying out food new food no worry you go cook tire you cook you always cook literally so i'm about to cook i'm about to make a goosey soup and even the restaurants here say what they want to give to you food without pepper Nigerian restaurants are there. I mean, they are not bad, but they are not fantastic. So I just rather make my food. Whether my food is not fantastic or whether it's not sweet or at least it's my food. I know that I it's, it's cheaper for me than for me to buy food from a restaurant, a Nigerian restaurant that I won't really enjoy. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, so I'm about to cook. I'm about to make a goosey soup. I'm not vlogging it because ugh, I don't have that strength. Yeah, so I'll speak to you. I'll probably show you guys when I'm done. Yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Good morning, guys. Guys, so I bought this watermelon. Hey, I don't know. I hope it's going to be sweet. Eat the people. This this was for three pound fifty. It's quite big. I always buy watermelon, but this is like the biggest. And I bought watermelon. Oh my god, I'm talking to you guys. You guys are not seeing me. I'm sorry. I bought watermelon like severally actually and mm, 
five out of maybe eight times is always really nice so i hope this one turns out nice too really anyways let's see let me just quickly wash it and prep it put in the fridge yeah I was having high hopes for this watermelon but I guess I have to throw it away because nah I think this is the first time I'm purchasing from these people never again I'm never purchasing it's just big for nothing I'm gonna use my head again <laughs> guys i'm just trying to be happy you guys we just received the sad news that this guy is dead it's just very unfortunate that we come to this life hustle hustle suffer and then to all end in death it's really painful this is a reminder that don't take life too serious like like there is nothing in it you can die tomorrow like you can literally die tomorrow I'm just putting it out there. I don't want to do any motivational speech or anything, but you get the message. You get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, on a lighter note, I just want to plug you guys in, especially if you're here in the UK. And it's and you guys know it's getting cold. So I got this. I don't know. I caught the um, fever for having Crocs. And I got this one. I got it from Primark. It was so cheap. I love it because 
of the four feel in it just feels like you're putting on a shoe if you don't like putting on shoes like me i don't like putting on shoes but you know that in the uk you cannot avoid that yeah you, you keep wearing shoes all the time but if you don't like putting on shoes and you just want to like feel comfy this is what you need it has this four feel in it and it's very warm i think i got it for is it five pounds or four pounds i can't remember right now i wore it actually i just came back from work i wore it for the first time last night when i was going to work and the feeling was just everything so i just decided to plug you guys in and i'm ending the vlog here i'll see you guys in my next one don't forget to like this video if you have not liked it like it yes thank you and don't forget to live your best life please tomorrow is not promised so goodbye see you in my next one bye